With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is the value of Ka1 and K2 dissociation constant of oxalic acid is given as 5.1 into 10 power minus 2 and 5.2 into 10 power minus 5 respectively. Give a suitable region for the large difference in these two values. So first of all, uh, how this K and K2 is given here. So this oxalic acid is basically we will have 2OH in oxalic acid. So basically this is this compound is called oxalic acid. So when this oxalic acid has two H positive ion. So when first H positive ion is break in that case Ka1 is defined. Ka1 means acid dissociation constant. So it will break in that way. So it will be called as acid dissociation constant. So let's suppose we are taking C concentration of this acid. So here only uh, initially it will be 0 0 means when the time is equal to 0 at that condition. And at the time of equilibrium, what will happen? Let's suppose alpha is a degree of dissociation that is converting to product. So C minus C alpha will be left and here C alpha and C alpha is left. Now, now this, this value K1 is given as 5.1 into 10 to the power minus 2. And after that, this anion, uh, this anion will give one more H positive ion in the aqua solution. So when this anion will break and uh, again, so gives one more H positive ion in that condition, we have to define K2 value. Means second dissociation constant. So second H positive is given by this anion. Now, this will be called as K2. And K2 value is less than the value of the initial value. Why? Because here this will not convert 100% in this anion. So that means concentration is decreased. And if the concentration is decreased, that means we are only getting C alpha. And let's, let's suppose degree of dissociation of this compound is again alpha dash. So we have to subtract here in the equilibrium C alpha of alpha dash. So here we will get this C alpha alpha dash and here also C alpha alpha dash. So definitely here you will get the concentration of this H positive and this anion lesser than as compared to here in this first step. And because of that we can see the value of K1 will be greater than value of this K2 because the K1 is defined as the concentration K1 or K2 we can say any constant is defined as concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant. So here more concentration will be provided in the first step in the product and if more concentration is provided that means K value will be more than as compared to K2. So I hope you understand this concept. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.